Welcome to this week's edition of Mainly Motorsports. <laughs> Much like any other night when I tape late at night on, let's say, a Sunday night after something big like, let's say, the Northeast Motorsports Expo, I fly solo. Everybody else has gone to bed, tucked in, having their sweet little dreams, but we want to bring you a show. And we're going to show you some highlights of what took place this past weekend up at the Augusta Civic Center for the 27th Annual Northeast Motorsports Expo. And before we get into some of the things you're going to see on this week's episode, I got to thank every single person. I wish I could literally do it personally. Thank every person that had to do with sponsoring the event, putting an exhibit together in the event, being on a car, a team, a driver that brought it to the event, a vendor trying to promote their business at the event, the motorsports enthusiasts that paid money to come through the gate for this event, and everybody that just helped make what I consider a great, great, great weekend. You know, a lot of people want to give me a lot of credit, but I'm just the straw that stirs the drink. Without a cup, without the ice, without the beverage that goes in the drink, there is no drink. And, uh, you know, all you guys that play the part and you know who you are, you know, from the sponsors, the EJP group, the Quirk group, the hell of a good group, you know, awards, awards and recognition, smooth transition, swapping uh, award suppliers over this year, uh, Matheson Gas, I mean, the Pit Crew Challenge with Hell of a Goods Pit Crew Challenge, uh, Four Seasons Synthetic stepping up, helping us out with awards for that, um, the hotels, Roosters, Irony, the contingency sponsors, you know, just, I, I can't thank you guys enough, you know, brings us to the people that are getting their race cars ready. They're not gonna race for three, four, five months, some of them, but they're getting their race cars show ready to be up in Augusta in January. So I really, I can't thank them enough. The vendors, the fans that come through, that mobile museum, the sponsors, Town Fair Tire. I mean, just a great weekend. I, I don't, I mean, obviously you come off a weekend like that. It's just like a race event. There's always room for improvement. I have ideas that I think we can improve on, but I don't hear many of them from the general people that come. Most of them are pretty pleased with what, uh, what takes place up there. And, and one of the things that I wanted to do when I took the show over, six years ago was to have everyone involved in the show from me the promoter to the person that just has a little booth to the people that has 70 or 80 feet to display race cars to, to take pride and make it as professional as you possibly can and i think that's exactly exactly what's taking place up at the augusta civic center now when the northeast motorsports expo rolls into town i hear it from the management at the augusta civic center how they've seen the improvements and they've seen the attitudes and the difference uh, the people bring and the buzz and the excitement. And, uh, you know, I just, like I said, I can't thank you enough. And, you know, this week's episode, we're just going to touch, the, we're going to scratch the surface, so to speak, of what took place up there last weekend. Uh, just getting back into, the, into town from the three or four days we were in Augusta. So we just want to bring something this week, spend a little more time, get some people in the studio for next week talking uh, a little bit more about what took place up at Augusta. But uh, when we come back, we're going to show you some highlights from the Pit Stop Challenge, but not the actual Pit Stop Challenge that paid all the big money. The one that does, uh, the fun one, the tracks and tours getting involved. Uh, and it's great to see tracks like Beechridge go up against the Pro All-Star Series, against the Fantasy Group, and Nelcar, and uh, Speedway 95, all of that. It gives them their chance to some guys behind the scenes. So I'm going to show you some highlights from that, and then uh, we got some interviews, and we just got, we got a jam-packed show, and there's plenty more to come in weeks to come from the Northeast Motorsports Expo. So we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back here on Mainly Motorsports. You don't have to wait until the end of camping season to get your best price. Hi, I'm Scott from Scott's Recreation. We're starting our end of season sale now. This is our biggest selection ever. Fifth wheels with savings up to $20,000. Big selection of toy haulers starting at only $19,999. 2015 trail runner bunkhouses with super slides and island kitchens for only $1.99 per month. Motorhomes, truck campers and more. Financing available, trades welcome. Scott's Recreation, Turner and Manchester, Maine.
Don't let the other guys rough you up. Shop online at otmotorsales.com. Clark's East Side Scrap and West Side Scrap, two of the region's most efficient scrap yards. Both locations have the latest and greatest equipment, along with large capacity scales that are constantly calibrated to ensure honest weights. Car crushing, roll-off containers, scrap metal. Clark's East Side Scrap in Chelsea and Clark's West Side Scrap in Farmingdale. Don't fix it, scrap it. Mainly Motorsports TV, brought to you by... Moody's Collision Centers, now with seven convenient locations. Gorham, Scarborough, Biddeford, Portland, Sanford, Lewiston, and now South Portland. Visit us at moodyscollision.com. Southern Maine Motors, out to be Maine's number one Chrysler Dodge Jeep dealership. Route 1 Saco. <laughs> Hi, I'm Johnny Wolf. And I'm Dan Wolf. We've been selling and servicing vehicles on Route 25 in Gorham since 1972. Wolf Auto Service offers state inspections, tires, brakes, and suspension. 21st Century Motors has a great selection of cars and trucks starting at $29.99. With no mortgage and low overhead, we sell and service at guaranteed lowest prices. We're just six miles west of Turnpike Exit 47 on Route 25 in Gorham. Online at 21stCenturyMaine.com. Today's vehicles are equipped with complex safety features such as anti-lock brakes, seatbelt restraints, and airbag systems, even collision avoidance systems. Not available in all models. Hi, I'm Sean Moody from Moody's Collision Centers. We don't wish bad luck on anyone, but even with today's technology, we need to keep our eyes on the road and our hands on the wheel. Moody's Collision Centers, now with nine locations in Maine. 
Hatman's Redemption and Agency Liquor Store is located at 95 Tanberg Trail in Wyndham, Maine. With over 400 feet of hard liquor and 15 doors of ice cold beer and soda, Patman's can handle all of your beverage needs. And if it's wine on your agenda, we have over 300 varieties in stock. Then when the party's over, Patman's can handle all of your main returnables and we welcome all bottle drives. And if you're late for the race, drop off the bottles and pick up the cash at your convenience. Hey, this is Pat Man himself. Just letting you know that Pat Man's is your one-stop shop for all your thirsty needs. Welcome back to Mainly Motorsports. And, you know, when you walk into that show, obviously tracks like Oxford, Beechridge, tours like Pass and Act, you know, tracks like Speedway 95, Unity, Wiscasset, huge displays, the fast, high-powered race cars. But just as important in a role at this event is the small tracks, the vendors, the people trying to use the Northeast Motorsports Expo to promote their business. And uh, really, uh, I want to thank them and, and give them some kudos for, for being a part of it. So we went out and in this segment, we had Corey Crema, uh, does the MC in for the weekend. Makes my job a lot easier, a lot easier. And uh, he did a great job and sent him out on assignment, did some interviews. And in this first segment, uh, he went out and caught up with the guys that are starting out a, a new street stock tour. You know, Strictly's, Wildcats, what we call them up here, call them street stocks who are the other part of New England. And they're going to be running some uh, pretty, pretty high, high class places, some high end racetracks. And uh, so we'll hear what they have to say, as well as uh, Nate and Marty up there at Thunder and Valley. Beautiful go-kart facility up there, uh, up in the Palmieri area. And then uh, Donald Rideout at RTM Racing builds a car each year and they sell it off for raffle, raffle for, uh, for charity. And uh, Donald brought that car down to the booth and, uh, and trying to raise some money for his charity. So we'll see what they have to say on uh, the exciting things they have planned in store and what they're, what they're all about. So we're going to take a break after that and we'll come back with some more pit stop highlights. All right, I'm over here with Scott and Nick with the Northeast Street Stock Tour. You guys have uh, been hiding out here in the back room, but you've been getting lots of attention, I can tell. Yeah, it's been unbelievable response from everybody throughout the entire Northeast. All the tracks are hopping on board. You know, it's, we couldn't really ask for much more. Now, what kind of schedule are you guys looking at for 2015? Uh, we're looking at starting off at Seekonk, uh, going off the Speedway 51. We have a date in July that we're still trying to figure out. Then we're going to Lee Speedway, back to, back to Speedway 51, then the Thompson Speedway Road Course. Oh, wow. Never been done before. So, and then we're gonna come up, come back up this way to uh, Speedway 95 and end the season at the World Series. The World Series of Racing at Thompson Speedway. Very nice. Now, when we talk about your class or your division of car, what what can you best explain? Like, what type of car is gonna be racing with you guys? Um, it's more or less more of a generic street stock. Um, from what the old school street stocks were. You know, granted, we have to work a little bit with bodies because you can't get the body panels anymore and all that good stuff. Um, but it's basically a, a grassroots street stock division, you know, or a hobby stock division, as a lot of divisions call them up here. So a V8 car on a road course, that's going to be interesting. A V8 stock car on a road course is going to be interesting on 7-inch rubber. Wow. So it's going to be interesting because these guys are used to going in circles. I was one of them, you know. Um, it's just going to be interesting because these guys are dying to do it. That's why we did it. And the response in the last two days has been overwhelming. I can just imagine these guys, you know, they've spent a lot of time learning how to go left, and now they're going to have to put all that knowledge that they've built to make it even again. They've been going left all this time, and we're putting them on a road course that's mainly right. <laughs> now, how long is the road course over there? It's just it's 1.7 miles, I think. It's, it was just under two. And um, it's a brand-new facility. They just did it. Last year, I think they just finished it, and it's it's going to be a it's going to be a pretty fast course, and uh, you know it's going to be new to us because we're used to watching these guys go around. Now we got to pick strategic spots to find these guys and keep an eye on what's going on, and we're thinking we're going to have 50 plus cars show up to this thing. It definitely sounds like a good opportunity to try something new with you guys. Now, how do they find out more information about this? Well, right now we have a website under construction um, that'll get out as soon as it's available. Uh, but you can find us on Facebook at n.e.streetstocktour, and you can send us a message, you know, post on there, and either myself, Scott, other team members, you know, we're more than willing to answer any questions, help anybody out at any time, so we're open all day long. All right, make sure you check these guys out. A real exciting group of guys. They're really looking forward to changing things up here. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, I'm here with Nathaniel here, and we're at Thunder and Valley, and we have a beautiful set of carts set up and some tractors over there. What's going on with Thunder and Valley this year? Uh, this year we have rental carts for adults uh, 18 years of older, a rental program, do corporate parties. We have a regular cart racing series on Saturdays or Sundays, and we now do tractor pulls on a drag. That uh, There's a club that comes and does that, so pretty active there uh, all during the week. Now, I see you have a kid's cart, and you've got some pretty fast-looking carts here. What's the age range you guys offer? We start age 5 to adults, and we have uh, in tractor pullers, I think they start at age uh, 5 and, or, or 7 and, and go up. Uh, they go to age 19. Uh, they pull a drag. So, yeah, we cover all the range. There's something for everybody at our facility. Nice. Now, where exactly are you guys located? When I say Thunder and Valley, it doesn't really hit the map. Well, we're seven miles south of the Newport exit. Real easy to find. We have road signs that'll take you there. Uh, Newport exit's a good place to get off. We're centrally located in Maine, we thought, and uh, works really well for us, the location. Great. Now, when we're looking at these tractors, they don't look like your stock riding lawnmower. What are these guys doing to these things? Well, actually, the one right behind us, the Grave Craftsman, is a stock. Really? You can start with your, just take your mower deck off and show up, and they'll show you how to put the hitch on, and you can go pull. Some of them can be modified, the same as the carts. I mean, the more money you got, more money you put in this little thing. But you can actually start right from scratch, which a lot of them do, and work their way up after they get better. It works out really well. I always found it amazing. You give a man a competition, and it just takes off from there. They want to go faster or pull longer, one or the other at our facility. Faster or pull longer. Yeah. So do you guys have any big races scheduled for this year? We have a spring classic we have every year, a spring that kind of kicks everything off, and then we have a fall shootout we do in the fall, which kind of ends everything. So that's, that's the way we kind of start our program and end our big race in the beginning and a big race in the end. Now, what size track are you guys racing on? We have a fifth-mile asphalt, 30 feet wide. Uh, Plenty of room for carts, lots of room for the track. 30-foot runoff all the way around. It's all grass. Uh, either it's grass or asphalt our facility. No, no dirt or gravel anywhere. Very nice. Well, I appreciate your time, and you guys have a great display. We look forward to seeing you in 2016. Thank you. We'll be here. All right, I'm over here with Donald from RTM Racing, and he's actually got a pretty good program going on. He's the car behind us. You could buy a raffle ticket and win this car come sometime this spring, and uh, it's all going to a great cause. Donald, what can you tell me about that? Uh, yeah, we're going to raffle the car off. It's probably going to be in uh, June or July, um, and it's to raise money for a local diabetes camp uh, where I'm from, up in the Caribou area. Uh, it's called Camp Adventure, and it's, uh, it's a camp for teens with type 1 diabetes. Uh, we've been doing the raffle now for four years, and over the last couple of years, we've raised enough money to send uh, 11 kids to camp the last couple of years. Uh, the tickets are $10 a piece. Uh, we're going to try to be at the Auburn Mall Car Show, Bangor Mall Car Show, and try to make it to a couple of the tracks this year and uh, also sell tickets at the tracks. And uh, it looks as though we're going to have the actual raffle probably at Speedway 95. So uh, you can also get tickets uh, right at spud-speedway.com. There's, uh, there's a button right on there, a PayPal button under the sponsor list on the page, and you can purchase them online as well. You know, Donald, I've been paying attention to the Northeast Motorsports Expo uh, website, the Facebook page, and I've been watching this car being built. You guys aren't wasting any time. This car was stripped down, cleaned up, and it looks beautiful here today. Thank you very much. Yeah, I had uh, a gentleman up in the uh, Caribou area, uh, JRT Customs, uh, does all of his own custom work. He was able to fit it in for me last minute and get the paint and everything done. Uh, Boulevard Graphics and Limestone made, donated all of the graphics for the car. And I have all kinds of items that are being donated uh, to complete the car. Uh, Darren Durrell from Speedway 95, uh, First Choice Auto, he's donated all kinds of items. And I mean, I'm just, it's, it's pretty amazing how many people are willing to get involved to help out with stuff like that. All right, well, we appreciate you showing up here, Donald, and make sure you guys check them out, buy a ticket, take a chance to win a ready race car. Thank you very much. I did not grow up in the car business. I started as a technician in a small garage, and now lucky enough to own my own dealership. I think buying a new car should be hassle-free with pricing up front. We like to negotiate with everyone the same way. Our goal is for our customers to feel good and make it easy and quick if they so desire. We pay our sales staff to help satisfy your needs, not to collect a traditional commission. Southern Maine Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Maine's only Viper dealer, Route 1 Saco. Award season event is going on now. You don't have to wait until the end of camping season to get your best price. Hi, I'm Scott from Scotch Recreation. We're starting our end of season sale now. This is our biggest selection ever. Fifth wheels with savings up to $20,000. Big selection of toy haulers starting at only $19,999. 2015 trail runner bunkhouses with super slides and island kitchens for only $1.99 per month. Motorhomes, truck campers, and more. Financing available. Trades welcome. 
Scott's Recreation, Turner and Manchester, Maine. For a trusted name in residential and commercial site work in the southern Maine area, call Peter Pettit Excavating. We can handle everything from the complete house lot to those nasty water and sewer line repairs. Septic systems are another area that we specialize in. During the snow season, Pettit Excavating has the equipment to handle any size job. And when the race season arrives, be sure to follow the number 7 Hewitt's Family Restaurant Chevrolet on the past Super Late Model Tour. Call 207-282-9305 to get the job done right. That's Peter Pettit Excavating. Mainly Motorsports TV, brought to you by... Clark's Car Crushing, providing guaranteed honest weights with top dollar being paid. Segment four, Dave. This is segment four. The Pit Stop Challenge has proven to be so much fun up there at the Northeast Motorsports Expo. And uh, one of the, what I call the highlight events, it's only because I get to be on a gun and be a real life changer, is uh, the Media Challenge. Uh, Lee from Four Seasons Synthetic puts up $500. Your media team wins, you take your charity of choice and you give it to them. So uh, not a better feeling in the world than be playing money, winning money, and being able to give it to somebody that in need or can use it. And uh, Kyle Fredrickson from Speedway Illustrated, two-time defending champ. So obviously the charities like to line up and align themselves with him. But uh, uh, we were a little light on teams this year. We had myself and Greg Emerson and... Uh, Greg had his team together. I had my team together, and you know neither one of us has stood in victory lane. And we wanted to we wanted to feel what it felt like to give some money away, and uh, but we struggled. And you know it's so funny because I had a great team. You know I had myself. I had Sally Girardi. I had my daughter Alicia as a tire carrier. We had Sally's husband Tim as her tire carrier, and we had Chris Smith as our jack person. So we had a team capable of getting it done. Um, we had a at the beginning of the, our session, I made sure I let them know to uh, no mistakes. Problem was, they forgot to tell me not to make mistakes. And uh, anybody who was there saw and heard my daughter tell the crowd of uh, how I was an idiot because I didn't realize how to change the direction on the gun and she had to grab it from me and do it for me. But I wish she'd have done it about 15 seconds earlier because we'd have won because we only lost by three quarters of a second. But uh, congratulations to Carl and, and you know, he, he donates his money to the peace greeters. And uh, I'll tell you what, it, it just, you know, this is the people that just go and, and they greet the troops coming back from uh, Afghanistan or Iraq or, or wherever it may be that they're out uh, protecting freedom and, and protecting us. And, you know, really, uh, Kyle showed me some videos of, of them in action. And his, his, one of his daughters has done it 80 times. She's greeted 80 planes coming in and... Uh, so I'm really glad we're able to do that. I'm really glad that Lee from Four Seasons Synthetic stepped up and, uh, you know, so enjoy some of these highlights and pictures of Kyle's team in Victory Lane where they always stand every year after the Media Pit Crew Challenge.
Hi, I'm Johnny Wolf. And I'm Dan Wolf. We've been selling and servicing vehicles on Route 25 in Gorham since 1972. Wolf Auto Service offers state inspections, tires, brakes, and suspension. 21st Century Motors has a great selection of cars and trucks starting at $29.99. With no mortgage and low overhead, we sell and service at guaranteed lowest prices. We're just six miles west of Turnpike Exit 47 on Route 25 in Gorham. Online at 21stCenturyMaine.com. got the car you've been looking for at OT Motor Sales. Shop online at otmotorsales.com. Not sure what brand tire to buy? Town Fair Tire has them all. Michelin, Goodyear, Firestone, Bridgestone, Pirelli, Toyo, Yokohama, Hankook, and more. No matter what size or brand, Town Fair Tire beats all the competition, even online prices. We'll also do a free front wheel alignment with any tire purchase. Name brand tires. The lowest prices. Free alignment? Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Name brands at discount prices. Town Fair Welcome to Mainly Motorsports. To order copies of a show, send a check or money order for $15, shipping and handling included, to Mainly Motorsports, 326 Roosevelt Trail, Wyndham, Maine, 04062. And please add a description of the show. Welcome back to Mainly Motorsports. And we had Corey back out on assignment. And, uh, you know, it's neat to uh, be able to to see the different people uh, that are doing different things. And like I said, we talked about the small tracks, the vintage groups, you know, uh, given the opportunity for a new uh, organization, the Wicked Cool Midgets that's going to be starting up and, uh, you know, caught up with a guy with them that raced years and years ago at Beach Ridge Motor Speedway. And I remember uh, uh, old number 37, teammate of Richard Pinkham. They had two beautifully prepared Michelle, uh, Chevelles, Michelle, Michelle, my sister-in-law. We'll talk about her later. But, uh, um, you know, hadn't been in the car in 20, 30 years. Now he's got back in a midget. So we caught up with him. So pretty neat to be able to give these people the opportunity here on Mainly Motorsports to talk about their product, talk about their race tracks, their, what they race. And, uh, you know, and anybody that was traveling through the show and saw uh, some of the changes we made caught up with the go-kart guys out in a, a different set of rooms. Usually we go to the North Wing. And I think it was pretty well received. I think the high traffic flow helped going out into the – the other area and uh, and I want to hear your comments uh, you know through an email or anything what you thought of the show some of the changes we made some of the things that can make it better because you can always make things better if you think it's the best it's going to be you got complacent and then it's nowhere to go but down so uh, but this segment we're going to hear from RKS Fantasy Racing a group of uh, they race old time cars on the dirt and a lot of fun and then the Wicked Cool Midgets so enjoy this next segment and once again thank you to Corey Creamer for uh, going out on assignment and doing these for me. All right, we're over here with Jen Anderson at Richmond Karting Speedway. And Jen, you guys have a killer display this year, a lot of really good looking carts. What can you tell me about them? Um, they are really great. A lot of the kids and the parents put in a lot of work on them. Um, on the main floor here, we have Kate Ray. She's got three carts out here displayed. We've also got Nick Moulton, who's got a couple with his brother in there, Harold. Um, it was a really cool idea has really brought a lot of attention to the carts, just having the fake person in there. We have a second display in the other room, which we have the Barth brothers. We have Gabe Brown. We have Benjamin Carding. We also have Adric Canada out there, as well as Spencer Winters. Yeah, you know, one thing I've noticed, and I've been to your track a bunch of times, and it's, it's definitely a family atmosphere. My favorite part is when these kids are racing each other, they're competitive. They get out of the carts, they go grab their Tonka trucks, and they go play in the sand pile out back together for the rest of the day. And that is correct. I mean, it is very family orientated. They definitely all, you know, they miss each other throughout the whole winter. I mean, a lot of them have been here playing throughout the weekend together, hanging out. It's kind of hard to separate them. Um, but it is a family atmosphere, um, not just for the kids, but for the parents as well. We do camp over weekends, so that way we can all kind of hang out over the weekend, not just talk, you know, track. We can talk personal stuff and find out what everybody's been doing. Now, what's going on with 2015? You guys opened the track under... Jen and and uh, Curtis and Willie, you guys are running the track this year. What's going on with 2015? 
2015, we're going to do 10 point races. Um, we're going to do also a triple X series, which is a series of three night races. Um, it's kind of separated from the points race, giving somebody else a chance to get a championship. They must be at all three races to qualify. Um, and it's just the, the three nights. Um, and then we're going to have some big trophy races the following day um, and talking with different people. People weren't looking for a purse. They were looking for bigger trophies, something more that they can show people. They can't show people their checking account or, you know, their wallet. So they'd rather show them the trophies that they can get by going and racing versus the money. I, and when you guys talk about big trophies, this is one of the big trophies and most of the kids aren't even this tall. That is correct. People are really impressed when they when they came to our 2014 Banquets Award. Everybody was kind of in awe because, you know, we do go all out. It's all about the kids. You know, it's not about the dads or the moms or the grandparents. We love them coming. We love their support, but it's all about the kids. Well, if you're looking for some go-kart race in action right in Richmond, Maine, you've got to go check it out. they got the highest bank track in Maine, and they're fast. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. All right. Welcome to the 2015 Northeast Motorsports Expo. I'm standing here with Jason of Fantasy Speedway, and you guys got an awesome display. I see a lot of people watching your videos. You got the cars set up. It's a really nice display you have this year. Thank you, Corey. I appreciate that. So what's going on with 2015 with Fantasy Speedway? Uh, the same as in the past years. Uh, we're dirt trackers. We race vintage automobiles, a lot of inline sixes, and uh, just uh, I like the way NASCAR started and the way stock car racing in Maine started is what we do. Um, it's all about the education of racing for us. Uh, we're a nonprofit organization and it's about family and, and fun. Um, there is no trophies, there is no prizes. We get out there for the love of racing. Now I've heard that you know a lot of people say if you haven't had a chance to come out and check out the Fantasy Speedway, you guys keep everything authentic. Everything's older. Everything's like a pre-year and earlier, right? Yes, that's that is the novelty that did start our racetrack and is always going to maintain the racetrack. Um, this is our show. Um, more cars are accepted. Other classes are accepted to get out there, get on a dirt track, have some fun. Um, I've raced all my life, and this is the cheapest and most fun I've ever had. Um, we really do it very well. The concessions are all done by uh, the club members. Uh, everything is by donation, so all donations are very helpful. Um, the one thing we do focus on as far as the history of these cars, the updates, are safety features. Um, we make sure these cars are safe, they have the fire bottles, uh, they have the five-point harnesses, and we get out there, we have a nice time. Now, what's going on with 2015? Do you guys have any tentative schedule at all? Yes, uh, our schedule isn't set to date right now, but we're starting May 30th. Um, we're hoping to coincide with Unity's asphalt track to keep the motorsports going in that area for the whole weekend. Um, right now, we race on Sundays. We start about 10 a.m. Uh, we're in Unity Plantation. Um, you can check us out on Facebook. We have um, Unity Raceway on Facebook and uh, uh, and vintage vintage stock car racing. And uh, we have a face um, a website fantasyspeedway.com. Um, you can check us out. You can join. Be a member for ten dollars a year. That is the only time you pay anything when you join our club. For ten dollars a year, you're welcome to the banquet. Welcome to bring your whole family. Um, it's more about a family picnic and enjoying what racing used to be all about. Well, thank you, Jason. I'm, like I said, you guys got a beautiful display, and I'm going to try to make a couple of races this year. Thank you. I appreciate that, Corey. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you coming by and talking with us. Not a problem. Thank you. All right, we're at the 2015 Northeast Motorsports Expo. I'm here with John with the Wicked Good Midgets, a brand new class, a brand new touring division that's starting right here in Maine, and you guys are really excited about this. Oh, we can't wait to get it started. It's going to be uh, first race is up in Oxford on uh, April 18th. Now you guys have a full schedule already in, in play. you got a beautiful car. You guys actually won Best Appearing Midget here. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. We bought the car like a month or so ago and got it changed over to our stuff, and uh, we're all ready to go with the Wicked Cool Midgets. That's great. Now the new division, it's gonna, you know, you're, try, you're looking for cars to join in. Where can they find information about that? Oh, that's a tough question right now. The website's going to be available probably around uh, April. There's a Facebook page under uh, Bill Sturgis. He's the series director, and that would probably be the best place to find it right now. Now, I got to see some of these guys that was casted this year, and I was, I was impressed by their speed, but I was really impressed by the way they hold the speed through the corners. These things hook like they're on rails. 
with that wing on top, it glues them right to the track and they're very, very fast. Now, have you ever raced one of these in Maine? No. So this is a brand new venture for you as well. That's correct. I did, I'd raced about 100 laps at Star, but only in a class. That was it. Never actually raced. Years ago, I used to race Modifieds, 31 years ago. So just getting back in it. Well, congratulations. Like I said, you had a beautiful car. You got best appearing midget here. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys are going to do with the wicked cool midgets. Very good. I appreciate it. Thank you, John. Yep. Thank you. Bye-bye. Today's vehicles are equipped with complex safety features, such as anti-lock brakes, seat belt restraints, and airbag systems, even collision avoidance systems. Not available in all models. Hi, I'm Sean Moody from Moody's Collision Centers. We don't wish bad luck on anyone, but even with today's technology, we need to keep our eyes on the road and our hands on the wheel. Moody's Collision Centers, now with nine locations in Maine. I did not grow up in the car business. I started as a technician in a small garage, and now lucky enough to own my own dealership. I think buying a new car should be hassle-free with pricing up front. We like to negotiate with everyone the same way. Our goal is for our customers to feel good and make it easy and quick if they so desire. We pay our sales staff to help satisfy your needs, not to collect a traditional commission. Southern Maine Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Maine's only Viper dealer, Route 1 Saco. Award season event is going on now. Mainly Motorsports TV, brought to you by Scotch Recreation. Whether you're thinking about your first camper or looking to upgrade your current one, Scotch Recreation can help you. Get both our Route 202 Manchester and our Route 4 Turner locations and online at scotchrecreation.com. LKQ Core. Any part, any repair, anywhere. Located on Route 202 in Gorham. Welcome back to Mainly Motorsports. Coming into the weekend, the pit crew challenge was what everybody was talking about. You saw it on Facebook. You saw people getting the teams together. You knew teams were out there practicing. Everybody wanted that many. And uh, the competitive level was at an all-time high. And this is the ladies' side we're talking about. I mean, they were practicing. They were, they were really excited. And I know they wanted those Victoria's Secret gift cards. But I don't think it's that as much as it. They just want to be winners. They want to win. They want to, it's that competitive nature. And uh, we had four or five ladies' teams and... You know, what, what a great job. And, you know, and it isn't about the win. The fact that these ladies get out there and do it, that makes me happy, you know. And, uh, you know, they know they're not going to be fast. They know they're not going to be the guys on TV. And, but they just, it gives them a chance to operate a gun and operate a jack. And this year we changed it up a little bit. And I think the biggest change was the car that we used, the New Hampshire Motor Speedway show car, actual cup car. And uh, those tires are heavy. That car jacks heavy. So uh, one of the changes I made this year was putting a coach in charge, and that coach was able to help the girls, and you know, by maybe helping them jack the car or, or put a tire, lift it up, and put it on. But for the most part, these girls didn't want no help. They wanted to prove to you that they could do it by themselves. And you know, the team that won literally could have come back on Sunday and gone into the final round of 16 and done very well and probably been competitive. I mean, they were really, really good. They fluently, you could tell. They uh, practice, um, and congratulations to Coach Dan McKeg and his speedy girls. So enjoy the highlights in the ladies, which is probably the most competitive competition of the entire weekend up there, the ladies' division in the Pit Crew Challenge, brought to you by Hell of a Good.
Not sure what brand tire to buy? Town Fair Tire has them all. Michelin, Goodyear, Firestone, Bridgestone, Pirelli, Toyo, Yokohama, Hankook, and more. No matter what size or brand, Town Fair Tire beats all the competition, even online prices. We'll also do a free front wheel alignment with any tire purchase. Name brand tires. The lowest prices. Free alignment. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Name brands at discount prices. Town Fair well, as we wrap up this week's edition of Mainly Motorsports, and before we do, we're going to show you, obviously, some more interviews. And uh, as you're looking at your clock, still only like 10 minutes of 9 or 10 minutes left in the show. But uh, everybody's heard of the Owl's Head Transportation Museum. And a couple years ago, they came for the first time and wanted to try out the show and see what they would get for feedback. Well, it's definitely been positive because they keep coming back every year. And I talked to Toby up at the show and pretty excited to be a part of it again. And and really looking forward to next year already and uh, so it's nice to have their participation and one of the things I've always tried to get at the show is a custom fire suit company and uh, this year we were able to secure the services of 30 Raceway out of Connecticut and they they came up and they gave it a shot and uh, the positive feedback got very positive feedback from Mark and his staff and uh, they measured a lot of people and now it's uh, you know those people will now call and they'll get their custom embroidered fire suits and uh, you know, I, I just really excited to see the new vendors, especially in the racing side of things, because those are the ones that uh, they're going to benefit from a race car show. And uh, that one was I was really anxious to hear how his how how he made out, because notoriously everybody goes and gets the, you know, two, three hundred dollar fire suit. And that's all you need. And you look good and you're safe. And that's the most important part. But now with the days of the high dollar sponsor, we see it on the cup level. You know, everybody's gonna have the fancy fire suit. They wanna prominently display their sponsors and the logos of their supporters. And uh, you're starting to see more and more of that and more companies popping up. And uh, Mark Cross from 30 Raceway came up and decided he wanted to try out the Northeast Motorsports Expo and worked out very well for him. So we'll hear what he has to say. And then drag racing, you know, not many places around for us to see the drag racing. And, we had some pretty neat race cars and drag cars on display up there at Winterport. And, you know, they're, uh, they have those nostalgia days all through the summer. And those are some big, they bring some big crowds and uh, see the old time stuff. And, you know, it's a great time. And Willie Larrabee, I've gotten to know Willie and he keeps wanting to put me in one of his dragsters. But, and then he sees me at the show and remembers how big I am and says, oh, that ain't going to happen this year, but maybe someday. So they were, uh, got their chance for a couple of minutes of fame and glory on the show and promote their product and talk about what they were doing at the show. So uh, enjoy these highlights and these interviews, and we'll come back and we'll wrap up this week's edition of Mainly Bonus Sports. All right, we're over here in the Owl's Head Museum booth, and I'm standing in front of a million and a half dollars. Is that what I heard, Warren? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's insured for 1.2. 1.2. Now, what's going on with this car? There's a lot of brass. There's a lot of copper. You don't see that kind of stuff anymore. Uh, no, this is, a, uh, this is a Renault 1907, and it was built specifically to uh, race in the Vanderbilt Cup races. There, it was commissioned by uh, Willie uh, Vanderbilt, very wealthy gentleman back at the turn of the century, and he wanted to bring organized racing into the United States. So he and his buddies organized the Vanderbilt Cup race, and they ran <clears throat> excuse me, in Long Island, New York. This is one of 16 uh, built, one of five left remaining. That's why the value is there. And it is a beautiful piece, and it's amazing that it's in Owl's Head, Maine right now. Like, this is going to be on display, and it'll be there all summer, right? Uh, yeah, this is part of our permanent display, but we have a, a rotating display going on. It's called Faster, the Quest for Speed, which has this car in it. It's all about the racing history in the United States and Maine. Uh, we have race cars. We even have Michael Schumacher's 2002 uh, Ferrari Formula One car there, the most winning Formula One car in existence. And, uh, and that uh, exhibit will rotate about every three years. It goes out and something new comes in. So right now you can see that at the museum. 
You know, one thing I like about the Owl's Head group is you guys are history buffs, but it's all about cars. It's all about transportation. And if you like to listen to these stories, all you got to do is walk through the door down there, and you're going to get hammered, but it's a ton of fun. Yeah. I, uh, I like to say, if you want specs, uh, Google Wikipedia. <laughs> if you want to breathe and feel it, come to Owl's Head Transportation Museum. Now, you guys actually do a couple courses, like on the Model A cutaway here. Is it Model A, right? Model T. Model T. Yep. You guys give courses on how to drive these things, because they're not that easy. Uh, no, that's kind of a fun thing we do. Each spring, we try to put together a course. It's uh, just a couple of evenings, uh, and we get people up to where, if they had to, they could drive a Model T. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's going on with 2015? I know you guys always have a packed full schedule, but what's, what's going on this year? Um, we have our, our regular uh, events that we do every year, which are very interesting. The motorcycle meet, truck meet, hot rod meet, convertible meet, where people will come to the museum and exhibit their cars. So it's a, you know, a well-attended events. We've just put the 2015 schedule together. You can get that online, uh, you know, OHTM uh, website and Facebook as well. So that's all put together, just been put together. And then we have some new things that are on the uh, schedule as well, and some really good events there. About every other weekend, you got to kind of keep your eyes open. What's going on there? I notice when I'm at my house and I'll, I'll be, you know, hanging out towards the weekend, and all these trailer trucks start going by with vintage trucks, and I know exactly where they're headed. That must be a pretty big event up there. All the trucks that I see on Route One. Uh, yeah, if the weather's good, uh, we it's a mob scene sometimes, especially our our auction we have uh, in, in August, we always have, that's our biggest fundraiser, and we'll have like a double show going on, it's our stuff, but then there's 200 other antique and classic cars that come to be auctioned off, so you get kind of two car shows in one. Bear Jackson ever show up there? We haven't had Barrett Jackson yet. We use uh, Thomaston Auction Galleries, uh, a nearby auction house. They're uh, good friends of the museum, and they're good uh, auctioneers. They do a great job. Well, I know a lot of people know the name Owl's Head, but where do we find you guys physically? Uh, physically, from here, of course, we're standing in Augusta Civic Center. If you got on Route 17 in Augusta and went due east, uh, you travel until you run out of road. That would be at, right on the coast. And basically head south on the coast for about two miles, and you're at the Owl's Head Transportation Museum on Route 73. Oh, great. Well, I plan on trying to make some events this summer. I say that to you every year, but this year I'm going to do it. And I really appreciate your time, Warren. Thank you. Thanks. You won't be disappointed. Anybody that shows up, you know, everybody walks through the door and goes, wow, how come I didn't come here earlier? It's a re really a great place. All right, guys. So make sure you check out their website. Go over and check them out. They have a lot of stuff going on. Owl's Head Transportation Museum. Thank you, Warren. Okay. Thank you, Corey. All right. We're at the 2015 Northeast Motorsports Expo. We're talking about fire suits. What can you tell me about what's going on over here today? Well, Corey, we're uh, from 30 Racewear. We're from uh, Connecticut. This is our first time up here in Maine at this show. It's been a great experience. We've met a lot of new customers. And uh, we're basically just up here teaching them about our driving suits. We have a, a custom driving suits and uh, just really excited to be here. I know when I bought my first fire suit, I just got the catalog. I told them, they, they told me where to measure. I measured, I ordered it. Now, tell me why that's a good idea to have a fire suit, but why is yours better? Well, if you're one of the 5% of the people that actually fits in a stock driving suit, congratulations. That, that's great. Uh, but 95% of our customers cannot fit in uh, one of those stock driving suits. They don't have a good feel. So they come to us. They make sure that they get a, a suit that fits them well. And a lot of our features that we have, which would be additional options on other suits, we include in our suit. So we do a full custom suit, full custom embroidery, full 360 radial arms. That they're SFI certified. Um, so there's just a lot of added benefits that you don't have to pay extra for at other places. You know, going fast at the speedway is pretty good, but safety is always number one. Yes, yeah, safety is number one. Uh, that is our primary uh, goal when we do innovations. And we're here showing some people some of the innovations that we have in our driving suits that other companies don't have. They're patented items that we developed over the last couple of years of being in the business. Now, I know you guys said you came up from Connecticut. We're down here in Maine or up here in Maine. How do they get a hold of you now after the show? Uh, well, they can head on to 30racewear.com, and uh, all of our contact information is there. They can also purchase online. They can submit measurements. We have a, an instructional video. It's really good to do. But uh, just orders at 30racewear.com, or they can give us a call at 860-381-5801. All right. Well, thank you very much. I hope everybody understands how important a fire suit is. All right. We're here at 2015 Northeast Motorsports Expo in the Winterport Dragway booth. Tons of cars, bikes, and I got Willie here. Willie's the chosen representative for today 
And uh, just want to let you know, we're excited about what's going on with the Winterport this year. What can you tell us more? Well, we should have a, a good year this year. We've got uh, the Gas the Guy events again. There's five series of that. It's the old front engine dragsters and coupes and stuff. It's flag stat. Um, we got uh, some quick eight door car races. Uh, we got a Jim and Kathy Hyde memorial race. <laughs> um, I ain't sure what else we got. Uh, we got a big rig race. Uh, I saw some videos of the big rigs. That that looks like a ton of fun, yeah. and it's literally tons of fun. Tons of fun. Yeah, there's uh, probably seven or eight hundred people show up for that. We've got a big rig from New Hampshire that comes up that will do smoky burnouts and uh, donuts and stuff like that, and it's pretty cool. We got a lot of going on. So. So what's going on? You guys got the best of show here for the drag cars right behind us with this rail job. Yeah, um, little girl. She's 18, I think, drives this. Um, she's probably 90 pounds, just this little thing. She runs 100 and probably 28 miles an hour. In it, so. what, what always amazes me about these, these things get a little squirrely sometimes, and they never lift. They're just in it all the way down the strip. Just put it to the floor and run it for all she's worth. Now, let's, let's also, you got a fi beautiful 57 Chevy over here, big block. Big block Chevy. has got a 468 in it. Um, Dwight. Overlock owns that. He runs the gas for events, and he runs our regular Sunday bracket program, too. So. Now, I know you said you guys are a big family-type drag strip. I see you have a junior drag store over there. Do you guys run those on a regular occurrence? Yep. They, got a, they run every Sunday, and then they've got a five-race point series that they run, too. And actually, the girl that drives this, her sister drives that one. Did she start in one of those as well? Yep. Now, uh, if somebody wants to get online and check out Winterport Dragway before they make the trip up, and you guys really aren't that far away from us here. No, nope, we're an hour from here, right up the interstate. You know, there's always the people say, you're way too far. and I've been there. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. An hour from Augusta, um, I guess. <laughs> So now you have a website, you have a Facebook page. I think I'm friends with you guys on Facebook, yeah. and you guys do a great job of letting everybody know. So if you want to look into Winterport Dragway, look for their website, check them out on Facebook. I appreciate the time. Yep. Thank you. As we close episode 398 of Mainly Motorsports, it just doesn't seem possible that we're two weeks away from the 400th episode of Mainly Motorsports. It seems like just yesterday I was sitting here, well, I was actually sitting at the little studio up in Augusta, Maine at Time Warner Cable, getting ready to tape my first show. Thought it was going to be easy. It's TV. We'll sell ads. We'll make it happen. Nope. Not even close. But we are still bringing you a product. And uh, I appreciate everybody that supports us as we close in on show number 400. But uh, before we get there, there's still plenty of talk about the 27th Annual Northeast Motorsports Expo. And, you know, I hope you, sh this, like I said, this was just scratching the surface this week about what we're going to bring you next week. Some more highlights talk to some more people about their experience and uh wow i'm beat i am literally beat four days of exhaustion but i can't thank everybody that helped me enough my family my sister-in-law my kids uh, dan and walker sue lindsay you know leela you know greg emerson always there to pitch in those guys that all step forward tommy anybody that follows tommy nason on facebook you, you, I've been freezing him out at work, freezing him to death, figured I'd give him a weekend off up there. Well, he, he, he headed up the gluing of the lug nuts on Sunday, and that was quite a project. So Wyatt and, and uh, John Peters helping out, Dan Winters, three up-and-coming, young, promising race car drivers, giving back, helping us put on a... Um, you know, put the show on, being a part of it. That's what I like to see in these kids. You know, uh, not looking for a paycheck. They got a bottled water out of it, basically. And uh, helping out, but appreciate them. All the other people working at the gate, taking the tickets, you know, Heather and, uh, you know, Breck and Louie and Tanya, you know, everybody behind the scenes that, that really helps make that show happen. And, and that's what's good, the people behind the scenes. And it's like anything, you know, to pull off something successful, you can't do it without help. And, you know, the sponsors, the vendors, and we talked about it at the opening of the show and we're going to talk about it at the end of the show. You know, those are the people that really make this whole thing possible because without them, it's just there is no Northeast Motorsports Expo. So uh, for me and everybody that pitched in and really helped out and made what we did, uh, I hope you all enjoyed your time up there. Uh, plenty of stuff on Facebook, plenty of nice comments, plenty of videos of the Pit Crew Challenge. We're going to have highlights of the hell of a good pit, pit stop challenge and we ain't even touched on the auction of the main vintage so make sure you tune in next week as we give you more highlights of some of the action that took on at the auction and the pit crew challenge so 
We'll see you next time right here on Mainly Motorsports. Thank <laughs> you.